Hey guys, welcome to Cool Doctor Money Plays Judith. This is a game that's made by Increpair Games. So, let's see what it's all about. I'm meeting Emily today. We can't meet very often. We're both married, but not to each other. So when we do get to see each other, we try to make it special. It's been four months since we last met. Oh, you're cheating on your woman? That's not very good. Go home. Go back and tell your wife you love her. Oh, alright, I guess that's not an option then. Let's go down this way. What are these fences? Can we climb up this? No? Alright. Uh, what's down this way? There's nothing. Hi! Jeff. Emily, you look beautiful. I've missed you so much. I keep thinking about the last time we met, when I gave you that necklace. Ha! <laughs> My husband was a little suspicious about it. I told him that if I bought it for, uh, I bought him, I told him that I'd bought it for myself as a treat. There we go. I hate that we have to be so secretive. I know. Me too. It's better for everyone this way, though. Shall we go inside? Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna wobble on over here, because I can't walk in a straight line. Are you sure this place is private enough? Oh, I think so. According to the company I rented this from, it's been abandoned for years. The locals are really superstitious about it. Oh, how exciting. Oh. Suddenly, I don't like where this is going. Suddenly, this game seems like it's a little too spooky for me. Look at that. It's just a door that's leading into nothing. It's like it doesn't even... Oh, there's no good that can come from this. Alright, alright. Well... We're probably going to get murdered by monsters, and I'm probably going to scream like a girl, so let's go. Yep. It's begun already. There's nothing this way, so what? That door looks funny. Open door. Emily? Oh, she must be in the other room. Oh, I'm not liking this. Emily! This game got spooky on me. Emily? That's strange. She doesn't seem to be in here either. Examine bed. Emily, are you in there? I had the strangest dream last night. Hmm? It was of a man sitting with a piece of jewelry in his hand. He seemed so sad. What happened after that? I can't remember. Did we find Emily, or what's the deal? Mr. Clock, tell me what's wrong. No, I guess not. Maybe this won't be spooky. I mean, they're playing awfully relaxing piano music. Maybe it's not going to be so bad. What's in here? Anything? Did this room change at all? I see books. I see whatever these brown rectangles are. Are these secret doorways? They're not secret doorways. Um... What's this way? Can we leave? Looks like this door is locked. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do then? If the door is locked... And if there's nothing in these rooms, what do you expect me to do? Can I sneak into the fireplace? No. What else is there? What's over here? This is just an empty hallway. There's nothing hit this way. I can't do anything with that. What the hell am I supposed to do? Mr. Clock, help me. What do I do? What do? Do you how do? I'm so confused. What am I supposed to do? 
freaking... Okay, there's this bed. Alright, I get that. I'm pressing the bed. I'm pressing up against the bed. I am grinding my junk against this bed. Nothing's happening. Is there anything in here? No. These books do anything? Just sort of rub up against them. Can I, like... What do I... I'm so confused. It's like, normally there's a deeper meaning... Oh! One of these books looks oddly out of place. Yeah. Hey, look at that! I found it! Oh, but it's getting more spooky now. We're in a pixelated dungeon, and it's scary. I don't believe it. My husband keeps a treasury back here. He is such a secretive man. Look at all of this gold. Oh, wait, are we playing as someone else now? Wait. Is this... blood? It is. Examine necklace. That necklace looks very pretty. I don't suppose my husband will mind if I take it. He probably won't even notice that it's missing. Sure, take it. It fits perfectly. Um... Nothing else in here, I guess. Let's move on. What's this way? The store seems to be locked. I think... I can hear something behind it. Nope! Wait, what does it sound like? Nope! 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 We are staying around from that door. We are staying away from that door. This door seems to be locked. Yeah, all right. Prison? This door is also locked. All right, cool. Wow, it's like we're playing Aoni. All the doors are fucking locked. And nothing happens except spookiness. I don't like Aoni. People like that game, but I just I don't I don't get why people like it. I really don't. I mean, all you do is you... Ooh, kind of spooked me there for a second. All you do in that game is you go around, you collect keys, and then you occasionally uh, run away from the big blue monster who wants to eat you. That is literally all you do the entire game. Oh, okay. Um, do any of the rest of these open up? I'm getting a pretty big no vibe from that. How the hell was I supposed to know that that was a freaking secret passageway? Like, that, there is no indication on that bookcase that makes it any more, like, different from the rest of these. Whatever. No. I really shouldn't have taken this necklace. I don't feel right about it. I should leave it back. Hmm. Alright, fine. Let's go back, back, back in. There we go. Alright, let's leave it back here. Okay. I guess I feel better now. Well, alright, fine. Your husband keeps a treasury you don't even know about. I think at the very least you could, you know, jack a necklace from it. And, yeah. Do any of these doors do anything yet? Are they still locked? That's locked. Uh, over here. This is locked. What's going on over here? And it's also locked. Alright. I guess we're done here, then. Let's, uh, let's bounce. There goes the door. My husband must have this part of the castle hidden away for a reason. I probably shouldn't even tell him I was here. Well, what the fuck did you go in there for, then? And what are we doing now? What did you do today, Judith? Oh. I was just mending some clothes, mostly. You shouldn't trouble yourself with such tasks. That's what the servants are for. Yeah. You're right. I'm still adjusting to a life in a castle. My sweet. Rest yourself tonight. These things take time. You're right, my love. Good night. Oh, the bed's empty. That's strange. I saw Emily come down here. I wonder where she's gone. 
Oh, okay, so we're going back to being, um... Uh... The guy who we were before. I forget his name. Or if his name was even revealed. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? Alright, uh, what happens if we go down this way? Let's see. There's, um... There are a lot of religious books in this section. No, whoa! There was supposed to be a secret doorway. Seems to contain books on military history. What do these books contain? Mostly books on legal matters, as far as I can see. And also legal matters, okay. Books on mathematics and engineering. Books on various scientific topics. They seem to be quite old. What? There's supposed to be a secret passageway. I, 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 like, pulled one of the books and then... Oh, wait, hold on. There was something important there. This looks like a fiction section. I see a number of fairy tale collections. There's one book that seems out of place, though. A heavy leather bound book called Civil War. Yeah, take the book. Um... Where was the book that had, like, history stuff? These are religious. Um, legal matters. Also legal matters. I thought it, no, there was just a bookcase that had books about history. Where did those go? Oh, military history. Yeah, put it there. And there we go, we have the secret passage. Alright, now let's wander in. Let's see what, see what that treasury is. <gasps> it's all gone. I wonder what happened. Just grab the necklace. This necklace. This belongs to Emily. Where is she? Uh-oh. I had another terrible dream last night. Of what? I dreamt of the same man. He feared his wife dead. It's just a dream. Don't let it upset you. Oh, okay, so now we're, um... Now we're the other girl. What is that? I just... I heard something. I'm not crazy. Oh, no good can come from this. Uh... Hi there. Yeah, I... Oh, boy. Oh, you're not a monster. You're someone who's prisoned in here. What? What is this? I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, shit, dude. I thought you were a monster. What's your deal? Who... Who are you? Please. Please help me. What are you doing here? I have been a prisoner in here for four years now. I don't understand. Why? Please, just kill me. What? No, I couldn't do that. Please, I can't bear any more of this. I can't believe my husband would do this. If you don't end my suffering, I'll tell him you found me. What, he, what will he do when he finds out where you've been? Maybe you'll end up here like me, begging his life, his next wife for mercy. N no. Oh, you gotta kill a guy now. With what exactly? Help me out here, guy. Are you here to taunt me again? No, I want to put you out of your misery so you don't rat me out. Even though you're loud as balls. Quite frankly, I don't know how anyone could miss that. And that door's still locked. What's over here? Still locked? Still locked. Well, that's, um, was kind of unexpected, actually. So, um, sorry, guy. I, um, I'm kind of just going to leave you here, I guess. So, bye. We're just going to pretend we don't see that. I can't believe it. That poor man. His legs broken, practically starved to death. My husband's just barely keeping him alive. I'll never be able to leave that dungeon. My husband has so many terrible secrets. 
I must know them all if I am, in, if I am to love him. Well, lady, your husband's kind of a nutcase. I think we've made a mistake here. What did you do today, Judith? I received a letter from my sister. How is she? Happy in all things. As are we. I hope you have a pleasant day tomorrow. Yes. Good night. Oh, so there was a history in this castle, and we're going back and forth between finding out what happened and, um... Yeah. The door wasn't unlocked earlier. Emily? Examine the bloody floor. Whose blood is this? Where are you, Emily? You stupid bitch, you shouldn't have run off. Now I'm probably gonna be dead. Or you're probably gonna be dead. I had another dream. With the man who lost his wife? He was weeping tears of blood. Someday, I hope, you will wake up happy by my side. Yep, wandering around again. Let's see, there's probably a new room here. I'm starting to get how this is working out. Open, op, op, open the door. There we go. And this room is open now. It looks like an armory. But these weapons... These weapons are all drenched in blood. What sort of man must my husband be? Hey, a dagger. Let's take it. Oh. So I could kill him. But then my husband would know that I was here. I mean, surely he would think that someone would have come in here and murdered him. And I'm not seeing many other options, so... Let's do it! I can't stop thinking about that poor prisoner. Has he really been here for four long years? Death would be a release for him. Uh oh What are we doing? Where, where are we going? I'm not controlling this, you're going by yourself. Oh, it's you again. I've made a decision. I'm going to help you. Thank you. I hope I've done the right thing. Yeah, so do I. We kind of just murdered a dude. That's, uh, it's pretty spooky. We put the dagger back, or? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna find out. This is gonna suck. Oh well, let's, um, pretend we weren't here. No, pretend we weren't here. God damn it. Okay, go in, and then go back out. Okay, now we're gonna leave that closed. We're gonna go back to bed. We're gonna pretend we didn't do this. We're gonna pretend we didn't murder a guy. What did you do today, Judith? I read in the drawing room. The weather was clement. I hope it's good tomorrow as well. Good night, my dear. Good night. Hey, is that a body still here? Oh. No, it's not. Alright. Well, starting to get a little worried about what happened here. I should probably investigate further. Hey, the armory. Looks like this used to be the armory. Emily's not in here either. I'm sure she must be around here somewhere. Uh, let's hope. Can we grab the knife? It's a dagger with blood on it. Emily, what's become of you? I hope you're still alive. My dear, sweetest Emily. Alright, time to go back to the past. Did you dream again, my dear? Yes. I can barely remember it. What happened? I think... I think it was digging a grave for her. You have such dark dreams. Yeah, I know. We're, um, gonna explore now. Go into the next room. We're gonna find out more about this past and what happened to Judith and Emily. I know I shouldn't be back there. But I need to know what kind of man I'm married to. I need to know. Well, let me find out for you. Don't just autopilot for me. What? Oh. And it's a garden. What are you? 
You're just a bird fountain? Okay. What's over here? Bury prisoner with sh- Oh. I can't leave the prisoner's body lying on that floor. It's not right. He needs to be put to rest. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna bury him now. You know, I have a feeling that, um... Those dreams you were having, Judith? They may be prophetic. In that being that your husband is probably going to murder you after he finds out what you've done. Yeah, grab the shovel and then... Let's bury this poor schmuck. Kinda don't like not being able to do this. I mean, it would have been nice if I could have played, I guess. Rest in peace. Alright. So... This door's probably locked, right? Yeah, that's probably the door I'm gonna go to when, um... My husband kills me. Because that's more than likely what's going to happen. No! Uh, damn it, Judith! He's going to find out! Stop it! Keep that door shut. And go back to sleep now. Now then. What did you do today, Judith? Oh, I picked some flowers in the front garden. It's beautiful this time of year. I remember the first time I brought you with, uh, to, the to the castle. Yes, I remember it too. The violets were in bloom. Darling, I was wondering. What is it? Never mind, it's nothing. Good night, my dear. Good night. Let's go to the garden. That's where the body was. Because we didn't find it in here. The garden? There's nobody here either. Hey, we still got that patch of dirt that the body was buried under. It looks like there might be something buried here. We're not gonna find out what. The shovel. There's only one way to know for sure if it's here or if it's her. Oh, you think your girlfriend was buried here? No, oh, alright, dude. There's a skeleton here. He's long dead. Wait. I think I see something amongst the bones. Uh sure. It's a key. I wonder why this poor man was buried here in an unmarked grave. Yeah, it turns out the old owner of this castle was pretty crazy. Oh, wait, no, I want to find out what's behind the door. I dreamt of him again. He took his own life. You dream of such a weak man, my wife. Do you think me so weak? Oh, well that pretty much sealed the book then. That is definitely foreshadowing there. He's gonna kill his wife and then he's gonna kill himself. Because he can't live with it. Uh, what's down this way? Wait, there's... Oh, it's already open. Okay. Oh, what are these? What are you? This is getting pretty spooky. Oh, don't want to go down this way. Oh, shit! Judith, I know what you've been doing. I'm... I'm sorry. You're my wife. I didn't expect I could keep these secrets from you forever. Please don't hurt me. Oh shit! Get out of there! I was right! He's going to murder you! Judith? Are you awake? I... What happened? My dear, you almost died. I did? You ran off and were caught up in a terrible storm. Judith, I'm sorry that I've kept so many secrets from you. When you're ready, I want to show you something. What are we gonna do? I guess it's kind of good that you're not going to murder me. I mean, I was kind of thinking that's where this was gonna go, but... Um... I guess you're not gonna do that. So, what do you want to show me, Kingy? Or, um... I don't know, do you have a name? I don't remember. Okay, what do you want? What is this? This pool? Please understand. I've shed so many tears over what I had to do. My love, you don't need to keep secrets from me. 
There are some things I can never tell you. Please, tell me everything. You can trust me. I'll understand. There is one more door in this castle, but please don't ask me to open it for you. <laughs> I can always say yes? Fine. I want to know everything about you, my love. I was afraid you'd say that. As you wish, my dear. This key unlocks the final door. What's in the room? Oh, boy. The key fits. Open the door now and see. My former loves await you. What? What's... 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 What's here? <gasps> you... Bitch! Oh, you're a... Oh, you're a scumbag! Looks like this door is locked. You son of a bi- I, Here I was thinking you were a decent person, now... Oh, you are the worst kind of person. I was actually thinking that you were going to redeem yourself for some sort of story that ended up not being the case. Emily. Jeff, is that you? I thought something had happened to you. I just turned around and you were gone. I got so lost. I've never been so afraid. Jeff, please promise me you'll never leave me again. Oh. Well, at least Jeff was able to save Emily. I mean, Judith's husband was kind of a bastard, but at least she's okay. Anyway, that was Judith, everybody. Thanks for watching, and um, you guys ha go and have yourselves a nice day.